My name is Giorgio Atana and I'm with DryFast Property Restoration. We specialize in moisture detection, water leaks, and uh, waterproofing. And I'm here to explain the situation at this building that we found. In the bathroom, if we go to the bathroom, we can uh, see the, how the water is coming through. Let me just move this ladder real quick. I was called to, to find what's causing that leak and we still have those, those, those um, little drips here on the window, on the window trim. And um, it actually comes from the crack siding that it's outside. We got on, on the roof and we did a water test. I saw a little crack up there that we took pictures and we documented it and the siding it's cracked above the window and that's where the water is getting in so what needs to be done is that siding needs to be repaired and um, and properly properly repaired and that would do basically the situation because it's a, it's a siding that it's been cracked in half basically is the half. flashing too or just the siding it's the siding only okay it's the siding Okay. And um, I mean, uh, yeah, the, the okay. siding is cracked, it's clear. Yeah. And here in, in this in, in this part of the house, if we lift this window, we can see there is a big, there is a big delamination on the side. Okay, hold it. And I can, I can look at it here. Okay, so we can see this crack that it's causing that it's causing all the water intrusion into this upper flat. And um, so there is another big crack on the side. So this is definitely causing water damage to this unit and the unit below that they might not have immediate um, damages that they can see, but definitely water is trapped in their ceiling and it could be causing a my, microbial growth, like mold. Uh -huh. So what needs to be done is there is two ways. Either set up a, a scaffolding all the way up, so the trim needs to be removed, the damaged trim needs to be removed and replaced. Uh, the rest of the building, the, all the planks, the, the siding planks need to be scraped. All the corners need to be scraped, cleaned. And uh, then we need to use polyurethane sealant uh, replace the damaged boards, replace the damaged uh, uh, parts of the trim and seal it, prime it, paint it two or three coats of paint and that will basically uh, preserve the, the envelope of the building because there's a multiple areas, if you look down there's multiple areas that are at risk to, to, to get water uh -huh. intrusion. Yeah. And how is the paint on the north side of the building? The paint, it's, uh, it's peeling off, it's in pretty bad shape. So I would say it needs attention. I don't see uh, any, uh, any big cracks, but the paint is peeling off. It means that sooner or later, you're gonna get leaks there if it's not done, that's for sure. And how about the light well? The, the light well looks in decent shape. It seems like you guys did some work there. Um, and uh, I didn't see anything since I kind of didn't have enough access, but it's been patched. I didn't see no major cracks. And this is the side that does not get enough sun. So that's what preserves it because it's not exposed to the sun as much as the back side or the front side of the house. And, um, and it, looks, it, it, looks, it looks fine. It's just that uh, board above the window, that siding board, that, that it's in bad shape for some reason. It got cracked through the through the years. And it's, it's a smaller piece. And who do we hire to fix that one? Is it the same? Uh, so you need to hire a waterproofing company or a general contractor that specializes in siding. Most contractors do siding, okay. so it shouldn't be a problem. But I would recommend to do this work after the rain to be effective, since if there is any trap moisture in the in the building. It will, it will delaminate the new work. It will open up the wood because it will expand, it will warp or change shape. So usually we do this line of work after the rain.
so the season. sun so the sun yes, hits the building exactly. and dries it out exactly so at least three weeks after the last rain and you guys are available to do this work when we can do this work we can now schedule it for for may or june for end of may or june we but can not, not before not before we're not gonna start doing any waterproofings basically until end of april because the rains are on and off until then so if we do we can do some partial uh, repairs here and there for emergencies but this is more than an emergency because i mean there is a few boards that are open basically it needs more work than that and you did the water test from the roof on that one yeah? yes we did the water test from the roof and we saw the water come right into the into the house yeah okay into the bathroom good thanks very much you're very welcome